What the hell? Okay, this is creepy. And weird. What happened here? This doesn't look anything like the inside of the old schoolhouse. You're telling me? It's changed form many times in the past. But at this point, it no longer even feels like we're inside a building. The strange rumors about this place were around even when I was a student. But I never pictured anything like this. When was the last time it changed? A while ago. The last time anything this extreme happened was when the seventh floor opened up. Still, that was underground, right? This is the first time it's happened above ground, I think. Yeah. There's no sign of that door with the elevator inside, either. It's like all someone did was snap their fingers and the whole interior was changed in no time flat. Emma? I tried, but even my clairvoyance isn't enough to tell us anything. Nothing feels particularly off to me, either. Hmm? Well, if you two can't work anything out, the rest of us sure won't. Well, we can't exactly just leave and pretend we didn't see anything. Oh! Gonna try and see if Valimar knows anything? Yeah. Heed my call. Valimar, the Ashen Knight! Oh boy. Oh yeah, he can teleport. He doesn't need to fly. Oh. Goodness. You know how to do spatial translocation with him? Valimar. Do you understand anything about the situation we're in? We witches only know half the secrets concerning the Divine Knights. But you're one yourself. Maybe you know something? Smart. My numbers have yet to fully return. What I can confirm is that this place was created by the gnomes. Gnomes? Gnomes? Thank you for repeating what I just said, Elliot. Jeez. Weren't they also responsible for building the spirit shrines we visited? Indeed. They're said to have worked with the Hexen clan's ancestors 1,200 years ago in order to accomplish something. So this is the final spirit shrine? That is correct. Some of their finest technology is gathered in this place. The creation of a large-scale phase space. The expansion of flexible materials. As well as the development of the trial system. Like the trial all of us overcame earlier this year? And presumably the same ones Dreykel's the Lionheart and the Lance Maiden overcame before us. It must be. Crow was supposed to have overcome one under Ortis, too. Tell us everything that you know, Valimar. Why did the gnomes make a place like this to begin with? Why seal away the Divine Knights and make us overcome trials to obtain them? And what's happening here right now? I have lost the knowledge with which to answer your questions. Every question? Jeez. However, the key to all is known as the Great One. The first to be born, and the last to stand. What? The Great One, huh? The first to be born, and the last to stand. I feel as though I've heard those words before. Oh, I'm sure it would mean something to Vita and the Elder, but I'm clueless. Furthermore, the entity you fought during the jet life trial you overcame it is none other than the Shadow of the Great One. The Shadow? 
Oh boy. Oh, that huge fuck. thing? Hmm. I feel like something's clicking into place in my head, but not really. Still, if what happened here before was a trial for us to overcome, is what's happening now a trial as well? Most likely so. However, this is not an official trial you were intended to complete. I suspect some disturbance triggered the activation of a different trial, resulting in the current turn of events. What Let me get this straight. This is all related to the truth behind what happened 1200 years ago, right? We've gotten ourselves wrapped up in something that's truly out of this world, haven't we? Apparently. Let's do this, Class 7. Wait, you aren't all thinking of... <sighs> You're gonna try and get to the bottom of this, aren't you? Yes. It might sound strange, but this almost feels like a continuation of the first night of the festival. And, by coincidence, this also happens to be our final free day. I think we can all agree that we have a duty to see this through. Indeed. We'll be sure to do so by the end of the day. I doubt it will compare to the trials we faced in that infernal castle, but it should prove interesting nonetheless. <laughs> Like there was even a point in asking, Sarah. I do believe we should be acting with a little more caution. Where do you begin preparing for a situation like this? Well, if you all insist, but we're coming too. Oh. Will? That would be a huge help. Indeed. It would certainly make our investigation easier if you were with us. You guys rock. Yeah, you're all super strong! <laughs> in that case, I would be more than willing to assist you as well. Oh, please. Sharon! Sharon? Bait made. How long have you... Can you maybe stop doing the thing with the skulking around in the shadows and popping out at the last minute? Oh, Lady Sarah, I did nothing of the sort. I only arrived mere moments ago. Hmm. Huh. Why are all of you always like this? Right! Okay! This time, I'll be coming with you all to make sure you don't push yourselves too hard. No! Uh, but this is our final free day too, you know. We want to make it one to remember as much as anyone else. I'll stay here and back you guys up. If you need anything, just say the word. Yeah, you're not a fighter, Thanks. George. <laughs> we appreciate it. Well, if everyone else is joining in on the fun... Oh, boy. The two of us would like to assist you as well. What? Your Highness, I'm not sure... Please don't try and stop me, Captain. This academy was founded by one of my ancestors. You're not coming in the main party, though. And as a member of the Arner family... I hardly feel that I can turn a blind eye to what is happening here. Oh, and that besides, cute little staff. I just so happened to receive this wonderful gift from my brother. That looks like... A normal staff. A normal staff? Though it's a different size than the ones we use. Hold on a minute. Isn't that the Epstein Foundation's latest model? The Epstein Foundation's? Weren't their staves the original model for the ones we've been testing here? <laughs> My brother used his connections to get it for me. And it's been adjusted especially for me, so I have no problems using it. A member of the Arner family using a specially adjusted Orville staff should be quite formidable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can see her being a real force to be reckoned with using it. Naturally, if Her Highness is going, I will be accompanying her. And I'm afraid that nothing you say is going to change my mind. Oh boy. What? <laughs> you're fighting a losing battle, Reen. If you're so worried about her, why not take her along so you can keep an eye on her instead? No, she's All not Alright, I get it. Class 7? And everyone else kind enough to aid us? 
Our mission is to investigate and resolve the strange situation here. This is our Class 7's final trial. So let's give it everything we've got! Right! I'm just gonna put a random party together. Well, basically the ones I will. Wow. That's a lot of people. Holy shit, 130. Uh, I don't know. Party members. Confirm. Obtain the following costume attachment. Claire's RMP uniform, Toa's captain hat, Alphen's casuals, Elisa's casuals, Angelica's habit. Oh, I want to get you in your habit. The old school house have been transformed into an area called the Revere Corridor. This area has no fixed structure or changes its layout. Complete every time you enter the dungeon, from outside. Okay. Oh. Huh. see everybody before we go look at everyone in cla casual clothes except obviously class 7 I'm glad to hear you're able to safely return to the academy. In truth, I fully intend to come along to see you in person. The professor's here always seems to be. I wager you're feeling more than a little conflicted right now about who you are, what you should do, what your place in this world is. I wish this Yourself. If you feel lost in time, you rely on others when you need to. 
You make friends, fall in love, live your life, and live it proudly as yourself. You don't need to try to come to me. Look forward to our next meeting. All the best until we take place. Aww. Talk to everyone and see. But I'll be right back first. Oh, there's a shop? Who? Oh, George. We are about seeing. Hey, yes, I'm back. I just cut a bunch of parts that. Talking to all of these didn't do anything. Anyway, I'm going back to Thor's. Let's see if we can get some of these profile updates. I believe this is the last chance I get. I need to check Instructor Makarov, Butler Celestine, Lot, Dorothy. Casper, Colette, Rex, Becky, that's a lot. And Margarita. Yeah, class seven members are through bonding events. So I'll show you guys if there in a, there is any profile updates for them. So let's. Oh, Macross here. Do I get a profile update with you? Aww. So she's leaving too. That's not what she wants to hear, Makarov. You should be like, no, don't go. I love you. I want you here with me by my side. Yeah, sure. Okay, we get a profile of Dave with that. There's Margarita. You need to lose some weight and get prettier. Those lips, though. And a little bit off the creep factor, because even if you get skinny, pretty, and do something with your hair, please. Girls are so out of style. And your lips, holy shit. I sound like a douchebag, just... Oh well, whatever. We all know I'm just criticizing a fictional character. Anyway, let's go around and see... Who else we've... There's Becky, and... I thought that was Colette over there. Do I know you? Aren't you from the gardening club? 
Yeah, Colette's not here. Oh, never mind, she's here. <sighs> Colette. Character updated. And these two are back at each other's throats. Got to report the quest. I hope I can still report them. Uh, can I? Complete. I need to report them all to Toa. Oh. Everything got reported anyway. Yeah, I need to report to Toa. Uh, anyway, uh, who else? Somebody else here? Uh, Mint is there. I already have everything for Mint. Let's go to the Student Union building. I think I remember seeing Dorothy there. I hope Dorothy's still there. Then I need to find Rex. Oh my god. Are you here? Yes, you are. Oh yeah, you're with me. Oh boy. More boy love. Let me check who I've had updated Margarita. Missing Casper and Rex, yeah. Let's see. We already had everybody here updated. Dorothy. Or was it Emily? Who oh, was it? We need to talk with Celestin a lot. Let's see where everybody else is. Oh, here's Rex. Perfect. I almost spat out my Gatorade. No Powerade. Jeez, Rex. I'm missing Casper. You're in the swimming club, so maybe the gymnasium? I hope. And Lot and Celestin should be out of the school. I think. Well, Lot is at the higher class dorms. Oh, sit him. Oh, date it. Oh, date it. Uh, let's see. Plus. Lot and Celestin, because everybody else is completely updated.
Well, let's go to town, I guess. And see if, you know, anybody's here. first game. I have to double take for that. I'm like, uh, what? Hi, Celestin. And we have everything. First, I want to see if there's anything in the shops. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. Here. Hi, Ricky. Uh, cutscene? Huh? to choose the most dangerous one. She is an Ouroboros Enforcer, so she wouldn't like something normal. I don't think she would like anything from the Sager, especially not a book, nor flowers. Pawn shop? Kappa? Oh, please, let's not make me fail this. T. 
antique bracelet. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. Let's see. Stone, right? That's a good idea. Okay, then let's go back to the... Oh, they're gonna take us. gonna see There we go, we set it up for you. You're gonna get chained up. Not a single thing can go wrong.
Master Ant. Aww. Not dumb though. She must be on edge. She's an enforcer. She's an enforcer. She knows these coincidences can't happen much. I feel he's gonna slip up somehow. Sharon, but you're... 
You're so nice and gorgeous. Well, you're you know, for sure and probably a killer, but still. I knew it, she's not stupid. That was pretty respectful. <laughs> yeah, you already have Laura, so... Nine lives puppet. What is that? Ricky? Yeah. See ya. Yeah, we will. He's just roaming always. To Sharon with love. Guys, that was so beautiful! Like, I can't get